Gagne and I'm from Pueblo Science. I study at the University of Toronto and I'm in my third year studying health and disease and immunology. So, have you ever wondered what it's like to mix fruits with jello? Well, today we'll be mixing jello with pineapple and looking at the effects of an enzyme. Before we begin, let's look at what enzymes are. Enzymes are a specific type of protein that helps speed up reactions. Enzymes are also specific for a particular substance, and this is very important because we wouldn't want enzymes to speed up reactions where they're not meant to. The function of enzymes is that they help break down proteins, and this is something that happens in our stomach as well, where the stomach helps break down our food. So let's start this experiment to see what's happening in more detail. For this experiment, you will need jelly packet, fresh pineapples, canned pineapples, three medium bowls, a large bowl, and two 350 milliliters of hot and cold water, which will be shown in the next clip. So in the big bowl, place the jelly powder, and then add 250 milliliters of hot water. Make sure you ask an adult for this step as hot water is really dangerous. Then, stir until all the gelatin is evenly mixed. Now that the powder is evenly distributed in the hot water, let's add 250 milliliters of cold water. But before we put it in the refrigerator, let's separate it into our three bowls. So now that we've evenly separated it into our three containers, we can add in our fresh fruit and our canned fruit. This will be container number one, and we won't put any fruit in it as it will be our control. Then in the container number two, we're going to add in our canned pineapples. Then in container number three, we're gonna add in our fresh pineapples. Now let's place all three of these in the fridge and come back in two hours. Here I'm moving each of the containers to see if the jelly has formed, and now I'm going to scoop each of the jelly in the containers. So, why didn't the jelly sit in container number three? Well, let's think about this for a second. What was different in each of the containers? It was the different types of pineapples. In container number three, we used fresh pineapples. Now, let's consider how jelly is formed. Jelly is formed because of the protein collagen. Collagen is made up of three protein fibers that are coiled around each other, and this is called gelatin. So, when we add the hot water to our jelly powder, what happens is that the collagen fibers are broken apart because of the heat. So when we put the jelly into the refrigerator, it allows for those interactions to come back and it traps the water and forms a solid. Thinking back to the beginning of this experiment, we talked about how enzymes help break down proteins. Fresh fruit like kiwi or pineapples contain enzymes that help break down proteins that are formed in jelly. And that's why we observed the container number three not have any jelly formed. The specific enzyme found in fresh pineapples is called bromelain. And the actions of bromelain doesn't allow the jelly to set. Now, let's look at container number two. Why did the jelly sit there? Well, let's think about what was in that container. The pineapples are canned. And in the canning process, it is heated up to kill the bacteria. While the heat destroys the bacteria, it also destroys the enzyme bromelain. This process of breaking down an enzyme is called denaturing. If the enzyme can't break down the protein molecules, such as collagen in the jelly, it will allow for it to set. This is a fun and delicious science experiment and feel free to indulge in containers that have set with the jelly. Thank you for watching and please feel free to subscribe to Pueblo Science on YouTube for more fun and exciting experiments. You can also check out our Facebook and our Instagram. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time!